Hi and hello and welcome to another glorious episode of Mad Jacko Labs. I shall be your host, teacher and guide, Dr. Johnny Hellfire. And today we will go over an interesting conundrum that I myself have, being someone who collects different types of technology. You have things just laying about doing nothing and, well... You get people on your case about it. So, I decided to take two pieces of technology that no longer is in use normally, combine them, and make something that closely resembles a shrine to Apple. But no, that's not what it is. Think of it as a smart Wi-Fi extender. It's kind of limitless almost in what you can do with it. You can make it a whole separate network or you can basically use it as a way for streaming things to your TV as well as just a place to make sure you have Wi-Fi connectivity where you didn't before. And another great thing is with virtual desktop technologies of the day, you can even run it headless. Maybe even use it as a printer server, even. Again, limitless. And I will show you how to combine an old school airport extreme with an old school Mac Mini that runs Lion OS X on it. Now, let us look at the back end. So what we have here is basically your airport extreme. You don't have to coil it like such. Just basically plug in a landline to where you would normally put the modem. Then plug the other end into the landline of the Mac Mini. And if you choose, be sure to get one of these nifty HDMI to DVI connectors because the old school Mac Minis, well, they don't have DVI. So, you can add the other stuff, but mainly this is a very simple setup. Straight up, landline, modem connection, landline connection, and hook it up to a monitor for configuration. Yes, I got a little French there. <laughs> okay, so now on to setup on software. So from here, what you'll want to do first is basically set up the Wi-Fi through your Mac Mini. Child's Play, I don't really even need to show you how to do that. Next, what you'll have to do is go to sharing, which is in your little gearbox down here called System Preferences. And from there, basically, you click on internet sharing and basically set up where it says sharing your connection from. Be sure to put it on Wi-Fi. And then two computers using what you'll want to do through Ethernet. So that way the internet will be piped through the landline up to the extreme there. Now once you have this, you can basically set up a password and so on and so forth. But not really necessary completely because of the fact that, well, you can already have one on the router anyways. I mean, if you want to make it extra complicated, be my guest. This is for you to experiment with. For the next thing you will need is Airport Utility 5.6. Unfortunately, the newer utilities of Airport will not recognize this version of Airport Extreme. And you will need to run it on a Lion machine because the utility will not work on anything higher. So it's kind of a niche thing here. If you have one of these or a couple of these old little devices sitting around, guess what? You can find a way to use them again. Ha ha ha. That's what I told you in the beginning. Now, from here, you will just basically set it up as a standard Wi-Fi network. This device can hold up to 50 Wi-Fi devices 
which is awesome because really these days you can't get that with a lot of newer devices. Well, maybe. I could be wrong. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyways, if you don't know how to set one up, it'll hold your hand. It's very simple, very easy, and I'm not really going to go through the whole process because, well, I think you can figure it out for yourself. You're smart, and Google is your friend. But, if need be, I will put a link down below on how to set one up as well as where you can download this utility. Otherwise, yes, there you have it. You can hook this up to a TV in a bedroom that doesn't get Wi-Fi that well, or you can just extend the range, or give yourself a secondary network, or the sky is the limit, really. If anyone comes up with anything, please tell me. Put it in the comments below. I'm quite interested. interested. <laughs> Sound like I'm sneezing. But yes, I'm very interested. Please, share. I would like to find other ways of doing stuff with this, but unfortunately for right now, I have so much on my plate, I will just have to leave it as such. Anyways, remember, this was all just an experiment. Hoo-ha! Like. Subscribe. Thank you.